Now I release a healing upon you that will never leave. The only way it will leave is if you let it go. And the Lord says to you, I am gathering your children. I'm seeing your daughters. And I know they are in a cave right now. But even as my wife sounded the shofar, the Lord says, I sounded that for them. And they are coming back to my presence. Now I'm going to lay my hands upon you. Lisa, stand behind her, please. I'm going to lay my hands upon you. And the Spirit of Almighty God is going to come upon you. In the name of Jesus, I just speak a relief. Sheko Mosa. Release. He releases you of the burden. You have carried your babies, but God says, I got them. And I am gathering them even in this moment. And I am bringing them back to my presence. For what you have taught them have not been in vain. And I see some of them are in trouble. Trouble. But the Lord says, I shall deliver them out of trouble. Because of your prayer. He says, daughter, I speak to you because I'm answering your prayers. And I am answered. Now I release the wind upon your life. Now just receive it. Come on, just lift your hands. Huh? Come on, just lift your hands, Sister Jones. And just receive this wind. Just receive this relief. Because that whole burden, that pressure is lifting off of you. Now, now, listen, the Lord said that there was a fire in Mother Max's hands. Now I'm going to ask Mother Mac to put her hands on your belly. Yes. And the relief yes. is going to happen. Yes. And you're going to feel things broken off your body. Shut yes. that Because God, because I, I want you to understand this is real. Ho, 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 ho. It breaks today. The effects of the infirmity. It breaks today. Mm -hmm. The diagnosis is alive. It's broken. In Jesus God is doing something. I spoke about the skeletal. God is doing something with the skeletal. Your body. Ooh, your bones. He's bringing it all together. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And the Lord says he's mending your heart. Your heart has been broken three times. And the Lord is saying that you have literally, like, duct taped it. But the Lord says, I'm giving you a new heart. Oh, receive. Receive it now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Just, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. New wind. New wind. I promise to the wind. Blow upon your daughter. Blow upon your daughter. Blow upon your daughter. I'm telling you, this is something supernatural that is happening right now. Blow, 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 blow upon your daughter. Blow upon your daughter. Blow, 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 blow upon your daughter. In the name, there it is, there it is. No more. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just keep ministering to her. Yes. Glory to the Lamb of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. My brother, I call you Paul. In the spirit, I call you Paul. Yes. Because Paul was in prison as well. Yes. But even while he was in prison, he had a message. And the Lord says the same for you as well. That you have a word for you. And the Lord says that I am even erasing the past in this moment. When you came today, immediately the Lord says, I was erasing. And the Lord says that your past will not follow you. 
it, listen to me, it will not hinder where you need to go. It will not be your testimony that this happened didn't happen because I was incarcerated. This, I didn't get this because I was incarcerated. It will not be named of you. For this day, says the Lord your God, that is erased. Clean slate, I hear God saying, for you today in Jesus' mighty name. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in this day of judgment, you have the right to condemn because it is the heritage of the Lord. So this day we call you blessed, sir. We call you blessed. And the Lord says that you are a man after my own heart. I don't look at where you are. I see an army in you. And you shall gather, you shall lead many to the presence of the Lord. Yes. Now, Lord, I release the fire of God upon him. I release the uh, this evangelistic call upon his life. That he will go and bring more. Go and bring more to this God who is real. For you are surrounded, you know people that are wondering if God is real or not. And God says, by what I do in you and through you, they will know that I am the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I call you a worshiper. I see you singing. You are a worshiper. You are one who leads worship. And the Lord is calling you into place, daughter. Because you were in a cave yourself. You said, I am never coming back here. I ain't never coming back to a church, period. It's not just about here, but it's about a church. Just the church of, but man, it was just so many darts, so many bullets. I mean, you have been ducking and ducking and ducking because of Saul. And the word of the Lord to you is, Saul has been dealt with. Come here, daughter. Come here. I sense that. I sense that. Man. He's bringing the bones together, church. He's bringing the bones together, church. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have to hide anymore. You don't have to duck anymore. Because you were one of the ones that I saw in the cave. They won't accept me, God, because I look like this. Like this, they won't accept you here. Yeah. You know, brother Ryan, sister Ryan, I know they've gone and everything, but they missed the day. Because I'm telling you, and I, I don't know this, who knows about the spirit. This is what their prayers were for you. Ah, I call you the purpose now. I call for the worshiper that is in you. And in every way that your heart was broken, God means it today by His Spirit. You are not a misfit. You are not an outcast. He said, you are my daughter. And the love of God has always surrounded you, even when you were in a cave hiding for your life. There are times that you have gone through abuse. Yeah. yeah. Only God can tell me. I don't know. I haven't seen you in years. But the Lord is even healing your soul of the abuse. Because sometimes it comes up like a video thing. Yes. Sometimes it kind of like replays in your mind. But there's a healing for your soul today. And the Lord just continues to remind you to forgive because your future depends on it. Yeah. And it brings healing to your soul. Now, Father, I release a fresh wind that brings healing. I said, breathe that in. That's the wind of God. I release it now. And I see the abuse that were words that were spoken over you that literally damaged you. And that's man, and that's where the blood that I was seeing that it literally murdered you and you walked around wounded. <clears throat> bleeding. There nobody else can see it. But in the spirit, I see you bleeding. Mm -hmm. But this day, the Lord takes the stitches out 
to mend it for good. You have had wounds, but it was temporarily patched and just with band-aids. But the Lord says, no, no, I'm taking those off, the bandages off, because you're not defined by your woundedness. You're not defined by those words that were spoken over your life. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I break that off for you today yes. in Jesus' mighty name. And I call you a woman of God. Yes. Yeah. Just receive that love for God yes. right there. Yeah. Just receive that love. Yeah. God is removing all those words yes. right now. Because it does not shape you. It does not define. That's it. There, I, there, there's a worshiper right there. Come on. Just lift your hands. Come on. Lift your hands. And just, just walk in that. Just walk in that. Come on, that's the worshiper right there. Come on, he says, the more you worship, the more he releases. Hey! Hey! The more you worship, the more he releases. Hey! The more you worship. Help! The more, the more. There it is. That's it. Come on, come on forth. Come on forth. Come on forth, worshiper. Come on forth, worship. Hey, there it is. Come on forth, worshiper. Come on, come on, come. Hey! That's the worshiper coming forth. God gives you a new day now. Be restored. Woman, your faith has made you well. (laughs) Your infirmity, issue of blood. (laughs) Your faith has made you well. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. There it is. Man, I just felt that leak. In the name of... Hey, there it is. In the name of... Whoa. Hey, there it is. Wow, that's heavy. In the name of Jesus. Oh! It's a weight of glory right there. Blowing the, blowing the ashes away. Oh, that's the word. He said, I give you beauty for your ashes. It's a divine exchange. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I bless your daughter. We bless you. We affirm you this day. And for everything that was said to you that was not so, yes, we declare wrong and it dies to the ground. And so now walk in your purpose now. Walk in you. The things will be so clear now. <laughs> it's, been, it's been so cloudy for you. Like, man, because you have a heart for God, but it's like, man, things are so cloudy. I'm just, but it's clearing up now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because he swatted away all that junk. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Now, I want the house to come down to the altar. Everyone in this house, let's come down to the altar. I want to pray for you all. I want to pray for you all because this is, I will not dare say amen, praise the Lord, and go eat chicken. <laughs> no, God is doing something in this place. My goodness. Lisa, I'm giving you a team. Whoa. Just come on down. Mothers, if you have to sit on the front bench here, that's fine. You can do that. We won't have to have you sit at home while we're in the ministry. If you have to sit down, that's fine. Lisa, the Lord says, I'm giving you a team. <laughs> I see a worship team. I see a worship team. The Lord's giving you a team. <laughs> because it's in you. You have gone from here to here to here, and you have grabbed stuff, you have grabbed it. I mean, it's like, they're like nuggets. It's just like, just grab it, grab it, grab it. And it's for you to step out. Mm, man, it's time to bring forth the worst. It doesn't matter what you don't have. God says use what you have. But he's bringing you a team that will stand with you alongside you. I'll tell you, this is what I see. I see that there's a time that's coming where you're going to have to move this communion table and put it somewhere because of the team of worshipers that are going to be leading the prayer of the Lord. Man, I see that. So now God releases this anointing upon you for worship. Worship is returning to this house. The worship of the Lord. We got a taste of it last week. The worship. The worship. Come on, lift your hands. In the name of Jesus. Mm, Hallelujah. 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 Shanika, can you come help me, baby? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just going to release this on you. This is, this is yeah. weighty. I'm telling you this. Yeah. This is weighty. We imparted.